Okay. Hello, and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're hitting legs together. It is time for me to train. So this isn't gonna be one of those videos where you're like following along. Like we're training, we're training hard today. It's been a few good rest days and now it's time for me to get back into the gym. So without further ado, let's hit the gym. All right, Van's on. And I know you spotted something, and if you didn't, where have you been, the sister? Where have you been? Introducing the brand new Honor Active t shirts, oversized tees. These are called like a merchandise t shirt. So, this color right here, her name is Sand. You've never seen this color at Honor Active, but it's a brand new color I'm introducing, and you'll see her in the future. So, that's why I wanted to drip feed it in now. These t shirts, there's gonna be Three colors available in long sleeve and short sleeve. So you have your gray t-shirt here, long sleeve and short sleeve. Gray is available. Then you have washed black. This is a brand new black color we're introducing as well. The black is, oh my God, I'm absolutely obsessed. And then you have your sand. These are oversized. I'm wearing a size small. I've rounded the hem. I've lifted this area. So when you tuck it in, it looks super, super cute. And then obviously the branded in the back and the subtle brand in the front. They're gonna be available, I believe, November the 15th, but don't quote me on it because I always get dates wrong. You already know what I'm like with maths, so don't even come for me. But November the 15th, I'm sure they're going to be going live, but honestly, I'm obsessed with these t-shirts. Whenever I'm just feeling like I don't wanna be showing off my tummy or wearing a sports bra, I can just whack a t-shirt on. I have one in my gym bag always in my car. So yeah, they're just absolutely, to die for. Anyway, today's workout video, like I said, we're actually gonna be training together. So I'm gonna take you through a real, real life, real time lower body workout. Now this lower body workout I did about a week ago. I posted some of it on my Instagram account, but it absolutely left me in bits. When I tell you your glutes are gonna be on fire, your glutes are going to be on fire, like I promise you. So pre-workout is much needed. But also, I'm just gonna have a little pre-workout meal. All the nutritionists watching this are probably gonna hate me, but don't care at this point, I just wanna get my workout done. So I'm gonna have a banana pre-workout meal of choice, just because I need that energy in me. I'm gonna have a Rice Krispies bar and a banana. Now, I normally make these myself. If you've not checked my Instagram reel, where I make these Rice Krispies homemade, they are insane. So if you're going to do anything for yourself this week, go and make that recipe I posted on my Instagram. The recipe's there, give it a go. Listen, they're incredible. But I ain't got time to make them right now, so I have to buy some. Rice Krispies bar, banana, pre-workout of choice is going to be Sweet Peach by Woman's Best. This is available on GNC, I believe. So I'm gonna have a scoop of this bad boy. And then hydration of choice, water and my Woman's Best shapers. I think they're actually um, launching brand new shaper soon. It's about time. Bloody hell, Woman's Best. And also BCAAs in Rainbow Candy. Got my creatine here. This is from Women's Best as well. Me and Sasha were just talking about owning a house. Look, like I don't know if any of you own homes or if you have your own home or your parents have your home. But listen, my parents had a council estate. So if you don't know what a council flat is, it's basically where the government gives you a home because you can't afford your own home. My mum and dad have been living in a council house for about 20 years of their life. And just recently I bought their home for them, finally. And that was like my biggest achievement, my personal biggest achievement, to be able to actually buy them a home. But all oh my gosh, why does no one actually tell you how many implications being a homeowner is? First of all, I don't know if you saw my Instagram, but my roof, did you see my roof just fell? My roof fell down, I was showering, I was trying to relax, and then it fell on the floor, and I was like, right, okay, I've got to fix that, nice. Had no home insurance, that's something you need. And now my toilets, all my plumbing's broken. I either have really hot showers or really cold showers. So I've got to fix all my plumbing. That's gonna cost me about three grand. Like, 
just don't just just don't live with your parents for as long as you can do not complain lock your door in your parents houses and don't buy a house because it is a fucking shit show just don't even bother <laughs> Working set, working exercise is a barbell squat. We're starting off with a compound. I'm gonna add 50 kg as my starting weight on each side. That accumulates 30, 50 kg, including the bar. The bar is included in your weight. The bar alone, depending on which one you're using, is about 20 kg. So please include the bar. Now, I'm gonna give you a few tips when you squat. I learned them recently, so I wanna share them with you because I know they're really gonna help. When you are squatting, I never imagined it this way, but when I heard it, I was like, oh my God, it makes so much sense and I wanted to share it with you so much. When you are squatting, I want you to imagine your feet are claws, like bird claws. And I want you to imagine you're planting your feet evenly, so that means there's no distribution just in the front or no distribution just in the back. You wanna plant it solidified on the floor. And when you're pushing yourself up to lift the weight, I want you to imagine gripping the floor like a claw. So if you can see my foot here, flat, but then when I'm pushing up, it's gonna go and grip. Not completely, just slightly. So you, yet again, position yourself firmly on the ground. I want you to imagine pushing yourself towards the ground as well. So really solidifying your grip and then gripping yourself into it like a claw. Ever since I thought about it that way, I tested it for a few, times that I did squats and I was like wow it's actually made such a big difference with my squats because it makes me just plant my roots onto the ground and it solidifies me onto the ground and I feel so much more secure so that's the tip of the day first working set about 12 to 15 reps on a warm-up weight which is 50 kg for me personally barbell squats let's go First proper working set, so you could do two on a lighter weight. I like to do one unloaded bar. So if you're on the Tonoscoped app, especially if you're doing my strong program, you will see there's always unloaded bar, and that means to do reps with just the bar alone, just to get you know feel how the bar feels, if it's in the right positioning, if it needs to go higher, lower. It just gives you a bit more leverage to work around with what you've got. So my first working set for me, I'm going to start off with a 70 kg barbell squat. My aim today is to do 12 reps. I'm going to add a bit more weight, 10 reps, add a bit more weight, tiny bit. We're only going to go up a few steps. We're not going to do drastic big changes my aim is to do about three to four working sets my last working set to be roughly about six to seven reps and um, just getting as much as i possibly can 
I'm not trying to aim for one max rep. Um, that is definitely not what we're doing today and I certainly wouldn't do that as my last set because I would have absolutely no energy. We're gonna take our time, we're gonna focus on form and we're gonna gently progressively overload. So here we go. <laughs> to Sasha, I felt heavy. Okay, sometimes you're gonna have good days, sometimes you're gonna have bad days. I promise you now, just turn up every day. I'm not saying to work out every day, I'm just saying. Even your rest days, you're turning up for those. It's the moments where you're just genuinely like, I don't wanna do this and you're not in the mood. You gotta take mood out of the equation. When you're working out for yourself, you don't think about mood. You're gonna have shit days, you're gonna have good days. You just have to literally just show up. That's why I keep saying, stop relying on motivation. <laughs> That is just bullshit. My motivation will come and it will go. You have to start relying on consistency and habits. When you make a habit, you form consistency. That's for life, I promise you. So I'd rather you take it slow, gradual, build it up, build up that momentum with time and watch yourself just succeed daily. Even if you think you're having a bad day, trust me, it's all part of the process. Okay, wrapping up, strapping up. These are just from Amazon, nothing crazy. I think they're called Barefoot. Brett got me these, saved my life. Not necessary, but my wrists are just, weak and I'm not helping the situation by continuing to weaken them by strapping them up every time I squat but it is what it is it works for me so we went up to 75 kg giving myself a little minute and a half rest I have a slight hip hingement here so every time in between sets I always like to do a few rotations just like so just to loosen that area up it's only just started but yeah, you've got to be gentle with that. Don't just push yourself. So I'm going to see how this weight feels. If it feels good, we'll keep going. If it doesn't, we'll stick to the weight or go down. Always listen to your body. Said, I'm not gonna go crazy. Um, my I'm do one max reps, I feel depleted after those reps. I'm not gonna lie. 85 kg, let's see what we can do. Started to notice that a bit my knees want to really cave in a bit. So, if your knees want to cave in, here's what I want you to do when I squat. Sometimes what happens is I'm down here and then as I come up my knees want to come in and it's really annoying because when you're squatting there's so much complexity to it. So you've got to imagine your core needs to be engaged, right? Feet planted to the ground, your chest upright, you want to hinge your hips like there's so many things to think about. That's why squats are so intimidating. So the one thing I'm finding is my knees want to just slightly cave in, especially when I go heavier. So what I want you to imagine is when you are coming up, I want you to push out and come up instead of just trying to come all the way up I want you to push out then come up like that did you see the difference so if I'm just coming up there is no two-step process but if you want your knees to not cave in I want you to push out then come up so try that next time if you feel like your knees are caving in too much it might make the world a difference let me know in the comments below like always oh, I was like, you're coming up whether you like it or not. Sometimes it is just like mind over matter, but sometimes your body is like, no, but just try and push and push and push. But six reps is all I could get, all I could get without having a spotter as well. If I had a spotter, maybe I could have pushed for eight, but not bad, six reps. Okay, second exercise of the day. We're doing a stiff leg deadlift, remaining deadlift, whatever you wanna call them. Wrap them up if you want to. Remember, if he likes to use straps and wrap them. 
whatever. One day I am launching my own straps. I promise you that. Bend knees, pull tight, bring up, <coughs> retract back. That's your starting position. If you want some tips on your form, then go and head and watch my five must do exercises on lower body. You're gonna love that video. All right, we're doing 12 reps, three sets. Let's go. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Me and Sasha were just talking about my latest YouTube videos and apparently this comment came up about me having bum pads. You know what, I take it as a compliment because Lord knows my body is like this naturally. So I've always been slender and it's taken me years to build a booty. Years to build it. And it wasn't until I started really prioritizing my compounds. It wasn't until I really started actually realizing I don't need to train that every day, two times max, three times a week, max three times a week, is significant enough to optimize results. And it gives you enough time to rest and recover. So if you are training your legs and your glutes every single day because you want to grow them, you're not giving them enough time to recover. Here's a little fun fact for you. When you are working out, you think you're building muscle, right? Actually, you're depleting energy and you're breaking everything down. You replenish that energy by fueling and resting, not by then depleting it even more and even more and even more. So that's why I can't stress enough how important it is to rest and recover your body. So if you're not doing that enough, please do so. And if you don't know whether you need rest and recovery, here's a few things to take into consideration. If you've come to the gym for a while now and your sessions have not been the best, that's an indication. If you're overly sore, overly tired, overly exhausted, that's an indication. If you've lost momentum, if you're not really got the same drive, give yourself a little rest, come back, let, it, let, let yourself miss it a bit. All these things take into consideration. Don't beat yourself up too much. Going to the gym every day is just not sustainable. So here we go. Third set, 20 kg each side. I think that's two, four, six, 60 kg. Yeah, it's okay. shaking just from those two exercises. We're doing a unilateral move and the unilateral move today, we're doing two, but this is your first one. We're gonna be doing a single leg press. Aim of today's exercise when you're doing a single leg press, you want it to be nice and high, a little bit externally rotated, and you want to keep your body straight. You wanna imagine your knee going towards your shoulder. Don't bring your knee in towards your chest. You want it out and towards your shoulder. That's the best tip I'm gonna give you when you're doing leg press. Keep your back nice and firm, planted on the bench. What the fuck is this? Anyway, plant it on the chair. So you're gonna lift up, unplug, keep that leg flat, pull your knee towards your shoulder, push up. Never locking your knee out, keep a slight softness to your knee. You're gonna do 12 reps each leg, each set you're gonna add more and more weight. Let's go. One, two, three, down, and up. kg plus the machine. I think sometimes people forget the machine. Weighs like, weighs the size of an earth. Right, let's go. on 
each side. So now we're working with, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what's the weight? 25 plus 10 is 35. 40 kg. Each leg. Wow. We're doing another unilateral move and this is going to be a smith machine split squat you can do smith machines various different ways dumbbell freestanding barbell smith machine one dumbbell two dumbbells one kettlebell you can do a deficit you can do anything you want so this is just a choice i actually haven't done smith machine split squats i would truly say in over two years i haven't done them in a while so this is the first time we're going to do them in a long time so i want to see how it feels i want to see what kind of activation i get as well if i don't like it we'll move on if i like it i'll stay on this but it's really my job to also try new things because whenever i'm writing a new program for the tone and sculpt app whenever i'm putting new workouts into the tone and sculpt app i always have to trial new things for quite a long time before i can introduce them to everybody else's program um, and that's simply because then i know why i've introduced this exercise and it's not just there because of the sake of being there, it needs to have purpose, right? So let's try it. Uh, so 20 plus the bar, it seems like a light Smith machine. Sometimes Smith machines are a little bit heavier. So we'll see what we're working with. Load it up, rack it up, unload. Feels good. extra on each side I was coming up way too easy and the thing is people always go oh when do you add me more weight when do you progress with your weight and the truth is my rep range for this was 10 to 12 I was getting to 10 and pushing slightly for 12 it wasn't like I was like whoa this is like I, I'm working to max intensity so I've added a bit more weight let's see how I feel when I get to 10 or even 8 if it feels like crazy then I'm gonna stick to this weight it still feels a bit too light, then I'll add some more. We've got to play it by ear and experiment. Don't, don't be shy, add some more. It's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. Oh! Yeah, that, that, that's the weight, man. do this workout you just remember you're gonna hate me and then you're gonna love me because during the workout I'm telling you, your soul will just disappear she's gone I don't know when she'll come back but she's disappeared so just saying anyway so last exercise duo we're gonna throw in a superset we're actually gonna do quite a bit of volume only two sets of this superset so we're gonna do 20 reps at a leg extensions hitting those quads and then we're going to go over to this bad boy machine over here which is a seated over here. Front. <laughs> <laughs> over here we're going to go to this machine over here which is a seated hamstring curl so we're doing 20 reps 20 reps accumulated to 40 reps you're doing only two sets of this accumulated to 80 reps now if you're on the tone and sculpt strong program i tend to finish you off with a burner if you're feeling shaky after your workouts that is because your energy levels are completely depleted so you need to replenish them as soon as you can that's why i recommend having a shake straight after your workout or some post-workout meal 
to replenish that energy back. Remember, you're breaking tissue down and you're breaking things down when you're working out. Your body is exerting a lot of energy. So that's why you need to replenish it back into your system. Please, 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 after your workouts, don't just spend a couple of hours not eating. You're doing more damage than any good. So remember, 20 reps, 20 reps, two sets only, accumulation of 80 reps total. All right, I'll do 45 kg. See how that feels. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I've got three more. Come on, you got it in you. Three more reps, come on. Let's go. Three, two, one. if on not my next video but a few videos down the line I could take him for a workout so if you want to see me take my videographer through a workout comment below I think that would be absolutely amazing and Sasha's up for it mm -hmm. so let's see how many of you guys will actually want me and Sasha to work out together so that's the workout complete give this workout a go I want you to take the tips I want you to take the struggle and use it as some form of inspiration. That's literally all I can hope for. Every time I do a YouTube video, it's genuinely, I think to myself, what would I want my community to see? What would I want my community to take out of this workout video? And if there's anything you can take out of this workout video is that just like you, I struggle and sometimes workouts are gonna take it out of you and you just gotta be consistent, you gotta shop for yourself. The entire workout will be listed in the description below. So take a screenshot and take me to the gym with you. And if you like this workout video, come back and leave a comment below and inspire someone else to give this workout a go. And also there's tons of workouts on the Tone and Sculpt app, like always. Anyways, leave a thumbs up. I love you always and forever. See ya.